folks, my name is Diamond Jim, and we're at the Comstock Gold Mill here in Virginia City. kids I call them and they just didn't want to be here it was almost like oh do we have to go through this and I tell you what struck me is when I took them on the tour showed them the stamp mill and explained how the whole thing worked they, they really got, uh, they got their attention with it they seen it work and when they came back out here on the way out they looked at me and they said sir you know that was really interesting and it really shocked me because when they came up here they weren't they didn't even want to be here so this this stamp mill tour is a very educational tool for children as well as adults and really gets them involved in the the mining process and how the mine the mines extracted the gold and how they they processed it back in the 1800s and they see that it was a lot of work back then you know and it really gives them the aspect of hey you know you don't have to even get up to turn the TV on nowadays that's that's how lazy things are getting back then you had to you had to actually do things to to survive you know it was a very tough what time what miners would do here at the Comstock gold mill is when they would bring the ore down to the Arizona Comstock building here in front of us oh that's a bin there that's a bin now the ore would fill that building and it would come out of this steel door right here you see they would open that door the ore would come on to the conveyor belt then it would drop down into our first set of wheels here which is a primary jaw crusher now what the jaw crusher would do it had two jaws inside of it that moved back and forth and it would crush the bigger pieces of ore down to smaller pieces now from there the ore would travel up the bucket belt conveyor if you can see that you can see the buckets on the belt there that would take the ore all the way up to the top and then it would dump it into our chute over here now once it got down in the chute here, that would slide, the ore would slide down the chute into our feeder here. Um, a lot of people call this a hopper, but I like to call it a feeder because it's actually feeding the ore to the stamp mill. Now once the ore got into our feeder here, you can see our, our feeder wheel down here, which would turn almost like a second hand on a clock. You know how those Oh, that tilted plate at the bottom the plate of the funnel. Is, is, yes. The ore would come out there. It would dump it into our two-stamp mill. Here she is. Two-stamp. And that's a big stamp. That's not a little stamp. There's sizes of stamps. The diameters, too, are different. Yeah, and the weights. The weights were all different. These two stamps here weigh 1,000 pounds each. Just the, that's just the iron piece just there. The stamps. Yeah, just the, just the stamps alone. Wow. So that's 2,000 pounds there. Now, once the ore came down into the stamp mill, uh, it would dump it into this box on the bottom you see here, which is the mortar. It's a wood box. No, that's actually a steel box. Oh, down, bo oh, yeah. down below. There it is. Right. right. Three screens. Yeah. Now, the mortar has three screens around it. They would add water to the material from our water tank over here to the material and these two stamps like I said that weigh a thousand pounds each would crush and pulverize the ore into powder now from there the ore would splash out of the mortar box there onto our amal amalgamation table down here this, this, this slope steel that's the amalgamation table now this amalgamation table here it's got a copper sheet on it 
The reason for the copper sheet is when, when the miners or the mill workers, they would put a layer, a thin layer of mercury on this table. When the gold would come out, the mercury would stick, the gold would stick to the mercury like a magnet. Then they would scrape everything off of this table. They would take it to a retorting station where they would actually burn the mercury out of the, out, out of, out of the process. They'd burn the mercury out, they'd be left with their gold. Well, that wasn't a very smart idea. Of course, we know how dangerous mercury is. A lot of miners were dying from the fumes. So what they had to do is they had to get rid of that mercury process and make this safer. They stopped using the mercury, and what they did is they built this whole by bypass process to do what the mercury did without killing the miners. So the way that worked is, they, of course, they'd done away with the mercury. When the material came out of the mortar onto the table, they would let the material run all the way down the table into a sand trough down at the bottom of the table there. Now you might get a better shot of that over here. That's the sand trough. All their material would run into that sand trough. From there, it would go up this pipe here. Hold on. Okay, There's the sand trough. There's the sand trough down there, yes. And they had electric motor? No, actually it would all be run by steam. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get to that at the end. This is modified to... Uh, so show it was probably out. a belt and pulley and drive shaft Everything's system? Everything's belt and pulley, yeah. Now from the, the sand trough down there, your material would go up this pipe. Now, so it's loaded with water or some kind of fluid to make it move? Yeah, the water and the, water and the material would come down the amalgamation table into the sand trough. Then this sucks up the material, goes up the pipe, Wow. Goes back over to the water tank. Huh. You see there? Oh, it comes down. Huh? It comes down through there and it gets shot into our pulsator jig, which is in the center here. Now the pulsator jig that had little shot balls inside. And the shot balls would pulsate the material up and down, and of course anything heavier would fall to the bottom. Now that's where your big pieces would sit, which nothing was really big because it was all crushed up uh, to dust. They were very small pieces, but anything heavier is what I should say, would fall down to the bottom of that jig and stay there. They would retrieve it later. The lighter material <clears throat> that stayed on the top would come down this pipe here and of course onto our shaker table. Oh yeah. There's our shaker table down there. It's a big one. Now as the material came out, the material would come out into the box and it would come onto the table. Of course, gold is heavier than the, the rest of the material it's in. So when this shook, the gold would stay at the top, just like panning when you're panning or sluicing. The gold would stay on top and all the rocks and material would um, come over the slats here into the gutter, go down that way and be disposed of. Now the gold would then eventually work its way off the edge, come down the angle section there, and then, then they would separate that down there. That's basically the process that it went through. Now you might ask, how did they run all this? They didn't have no electricity back then. And we know that they ran this by steam. Now over here, that's your boiler. Oh yeah. There's your boiler. You'd have to have somebody down there throwing wood in this thing night oh, and day. Yeah. And some of these mills actually used up to 300 and something cords of wood in a 24 hour period to keep these mills running. There's your boiler, and that boiler would run the steam engine over there. There it is. The steam engine. And that ran all your belts. So it's a very interesting process. Very historical. Uh, you will not see another daily operated stamp mill anywhere except for here. I thought somebody told me there was one in Australia, but then I found out that it don't operate every day. In the summer, we operate daily. Right up above the hill here, from the Savage Mine, which we're on now, is the Savage Mansion. That's that building right up there, very beautiful Victorian building. Now, if you come over to the left a little bit over here, you'll see the Fort Worth School, right past the windmill there, the old schoolhouse. And of course, this building right in front of us here is the Comstock Gold Mill. That there is the Arizona Comstock Building, uh, which was used to hold the gold ore. Uh, before they processed it in the stamp mill. Now you can actually see a little bit of the train trestle behind the building there. The train actually goes under that trestle, but they did use that trestle uh, to bring the gold ore over to the mill here.